e to the cosine x is a composite function, so to take its derivative, we're going to need the chain rule, which tells us the derivative of a composite function, f of g of x, is f prime, the derivative of the outside function, evaluated at the inside function, so f prime of g of x, multiplied by g prime, the derivative of the inside. So if we can accurately identify the outside and inside functions here, we'll be able to apply the chain rule to find the derivative. In this problem, f of x, the outside function, is e to a power, e to the x. That power, that inside function, that we'll call g of x, is simply cosine x. Now we can apply the chain rule. The derivative of e to the cosine x is going to be f prime of g of x, so the derivative of the outside function evaluated at the inside. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, but remember, it's not x we want in this function, but rather g of x, right? Because it's f prime of g of x. So we just plug g of x in there. It's e to the cosine x. Then we multiply by g prime, the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is cosine x, and its derivative is negative sine x, so we multiply by that. And that's the derivative, which you might prefer to write as negative sine x e to the cosine x. So the derivative of e to the cosine x is negative sine x e to the cosine x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Couldn't even call myself up from instant Where's the love?